Okay, so this emotional digestion process is different every single time. And the essence of what we're doing in a session, I mean, I've, I've started, I used to call it just the process, but now I call it the emotional digestion process because that's the main aspect is that through simply orientating to awareness and being willing to feel what's present in the body and having the support of a facilitator like myself and or sometimes it's not with a group, sometimes it's with a group and group support. All we're doing really in an emotional digestion session is we're just being with what is there. Uh, but as humans, because as humans, we tend to chase pleasure and avoid pain for those reasons and a few different other reasons. When we're children, our relationship to our emotional landscape depends so much on our, our parents or our caregivers' relationship to their emotional landscape. And often, you know, our parents or caregivers don't necessarily have healthy, empowered relationships with their emotional landscape. So a lot of us receive messages growing up to, you know, dampen down our emotions don't feel that don't feel that or we have caregivers that get angry when we're feeling something because it's triggering them and they don't have the emotional literacy to deal with it so we learn that if we feel things it upsets the people around us so we better not feel anything and there's all kinds of conditioning that can happen when we're growing up related to family related to social there's a lot of social pressure around um, emotions as well there's gendered conditioning around emotions you know, men get much stronger conditioning around not feeling anything than women do. Um, but then women also get conditioning around, you know, being hysterical or over emotional or oversensitive. And there's all of that conditioning. So when we step into an emotional digestion session, we're often coming up against all of the protection mechanisms that the psyche has developed over the years to protect us from feeling because as children, it was not safe to feel, right? And so because it's not safe to feel, we try and protect ourselves. So we, we might have patterns of disassociation or we might have patterns of going into freeze. Freeze is quite common. You know, we get news of someone close to us dying and our first response is to go into freeze. And then what can happen is we might judge ourselves or like, oh my God, why am not, I not feeling anything? I'm such a bad person that I'm not feeling anything. And all that's happened is that the feeling is there, but the system is trying to protect us and look after us. So it's doing what it's always done to try and keep us safe and it's gone into freeze, right? Um, and so in an emotional digestion session, what can happen as the invitation is to feel what's present in the system right now is that some of those defense mechanisms, et cetera, will start to arise. And so we begin to skillfully work with them. We allow them. It's like if someone says in a session and I'm like, what do you notice in your body? And they're like, I've gone into freeze, right? Or I feel rigid in my upper body, for example. That's an example of the way that freeze can show up on a physical level. Then that's welcome too, you know, because keeping safe is really important until we don't need to keep safe that way anymore. And as adults, part of what we need to do in our emotional literacy journey as such is start to rewire our system so and start to build our capacity to feel intense emotions, which is building that capacity to feel intense emotions is about increasing our nervous system capacity. And it's also about increasing the power of our energy body. So when, if we're doing an emotional digestion session and say tightness or contraction or rigidity or freeze arises, it doesn't mean we're wrong or, or that there's anything wrong with us. It's like, no, we welcome it. There's an excitement. There's like, oh, wow, what does that feel like in the body? What do you notice about it? And so whatever comes up is what we meet. And what comes up might not be a feeling, you know, it might not be, oh, I'm feeling grief in my heart. It might be, oh, I'm feeling rigidity through my shoulders and neck, you see. And so that is what we meet. That is what we work with. Because part of what we're doing in the emotional digestion session is each person has a different landscape of how their psyche functions in relationship to emotion. So we're starting to map 
the way that the psyche functions in order to disarm or put at ease or retire the safety mechanisms, the defense mechanisms. So we want the part of us that's gone into a freeze or rigidity or contraction, we want that part to feel seen, to feel loved, to feel appreciated, right? Because at certain points in our life, we needed to not feel in order to stay safe. So it's really important to recognize the role that our safety mechanisms have played and to be grateful and appreciate them. And because we're the ones who are now in charge as such. So when there's say rigidity or a freeze response is first we acknowledge it and we meet it and we feel it and we notice it. And then what we can do, sometimes that alone is enough so that the actual safety mechanism begins to soften or dissolve or turn off and feeling starts to arise. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes when I'm working with people, I will cue them to, for example, see if the body wants to move. Like, do your shoulders want to roll? Does your jaw want to move? Do you want to do some lion's breath? And this is a subtle way of, resourcing the body of inviting the freeze to subtly unfreeze and we're doing it not because we want to change fix heal or resolve but we're doing it with an energy of wanting to gently meet and respond to what is happening so we're doing it with curiosity to see if those very small actions of like oh just let the shoulders move a little it's we're wanting to nourish we're wanting to meet it with love and that's the critical thing in an emotional digestion session is whatever arises, we welcome it. Whatever arises, we meet it with love. Whatever arises, we see it, we appreciate it, we're grateful for it. Um, and we're not focusing on any particular outcome and we don't have any idea of what a process should look like. And this is really important because some of the challenge that comes up, say when we're grieving a loved one, is that we have social conditioning around what that's meant to look like, how we're meant to feel, and how we're meant to show up if someone close to us or someone who's you know, a family person who we may not have been close to, but there's still ideas of what the grieving should look like. So if we have those ideas or expectations and our experience is different, we can start to judge ourselves because of the gap. Whereas always in like an emotional digestion session no expectation whatever shows up is perfect I mean how could it be any other way every single person will have a different process of grieving because every single person has a different relationship with whomever it is that they might have lost and the complexity of the relationship will show up in the grieving process Whatever's unresolved will show up in the grieving process. So when, if, for example, in an emotional digestion session, we're going in to support grieving, what will often happen is the person will start to feel some of the unresolved stuff. And this is beautiful because then there's an opportunity to fully meet that unresolved stuff and to work with that quite intimately. And so an emotional digestion session to support grief can often end up, even though the intention is not to resolve the relationship as such, the intention is simply to be with what arises. One of the fruits can be that things will naturally resolve. Um, okay, so emotional digestion sessions. It's just about meeting what's there with no expectation, no idea of outcome, and genuinely welcoming, loving, embracing, accepting, seeing, and being grateful for what shows up. Mm. 